Hey everyone, so today's video is my current nighttime or evening routine, including what I had for dinner, a couple of my favorite current recipes, and my nighttime skincare routine, which I do when I really want to pamper my skin. I hope you guys enjoy this. These videos are so highly requested all the time on this channel. If you want to see a morning time routine updated one, let me know. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So at the end of the day, you quite often find me perched in the corner of the lounge, finishing off some editing on one of my videos or on one of my daily vlogs. So that's what I was doing today, just starting to edit this little NYX swatch video, which will be coming soon. It's probably the best feeling ever, switching off the computer at the end of the day means I'm done. So I'm just shutting down my computer and then tonight I'm heading into the kitchen to cook some dinner. I'm not going to lie, a lot of the time me and Hamish will go out for dinner because we like to get out of the house since I do work from home. But today I thought I would show you a couple of my favourite current meals. First I like to kind of light up a candle, it just helps to relax me after a long day. And I'm loving this one at the moment, it smells so good. I am basically starting with a couple of kumaras. Tonight I'm making kumara bake and salad. Um, so I'm taking two red kumara or orange kumara. Or sweet potato if you don't live in New Zealand and I'm just chopping those in half and you want to just make sure that each side and each sweet potato is quite similar in size just because it'll help everything cook at the same time and then I'm also cutting up some pumpkin and I'm just cutting it up into really small pieces and I'm taking out the seeds and I'm taking off the skin and I'm cutting it up really small because it's gonna go in a salad and I want it to cook really really quickly Once that's done, I put it all on a little baking tray with some baking paper and spray it with a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper and just chuck that in the oven and I just cook it until it's done. I don't really know how long it takes. It kind of depends on like the size of the vegetables and everything. This one maybe took like half an hour to cook. The pumpkin didn't take as long but I'll show you in a second what I'm doing. So just pop that in the oven. I have mine set to fan bake 180 degrees and then I'm taking a can of chickpeas and I drained them and rinsed them with fresh water and putting them in this little glass container with a little bit of olive oil and some seasoning. I put in lots of seasoning because I love garlic and paprika so you can use anything you want. This is just what I used and then mix it all up. Set those aside. We're going to roast those a little bit later when we take the pumpkin out. While the stuff in the oven cooks I'm just going to begin slicing up some stuff for the salads and toppings of my meal. So I'm doing a little bit of red onion just putting that on a plate to the side. I'm also doing a few black olives. You can really do absolutely anything you want. It's really up to you and your taste buds. I'm also doing some mini um, acid-free tomatoes because I love the taste of these. They're not too sweet. I don't know. I really like them. I did tons and tons of beetroot because Hamish dies over these beetroots. Like they're so good in the salad as well with the feta. So I am taking a bowl for my salad and I'm putting in some kale leaves. This is mostly kale with a few bits of spinach as well as you can see. And then I'm just putting a few bits of onion in there. And then I'm going to look on in the oven and check on the vegetables. And the pumpkin is done because it's cut so small. So I'm just popping that on the plate to cool down a little bit and replacing that area with the chickpeas. The kumara is almost done, it just needs like another 10 minutes so that gives a good amount of time for the chickpeas just to brown up and heat up a little bit. Next up, once the pumpkin has cooled down just a touch, I am popping that in the salad as well and then I'm popping some of those beetroots on the top of that. And then I took the rest of the food out of the oven and just am putting some of those chickpeas in the salad as well and finishing off with some feta. And you can use like a dressing if you want but I don't bother. And then I'm taking some cream cheese topping and putting that on one side of the kumara and then I'm also using some pumpkin hummus which is kind of stupid because I'm having chickpeas and I'm having kumara but anyways it tastes really 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 good. I'm also putting on a bunch of pumpkin seeds because they taste amazing and just the rest of my toppings as well. To finish off, I'm just popping on some pesto, and then that's basically it. You can add some more chickpeas if you want, put some salad on the plate. I don't eat all of this. It's a lot of food. It's so filling, like super filling, and I just like save the rest for leftovers for the next day. But that's how it looks anyway. 
By the way, this was boyfriend approved as well. He loved it and I don't know, I've just been loving it lately. So I'm just grabbing my phone, heading into the lounge and I'm going to watch some trashy TV with Hamish. I mean, come on, let's be honest. Who doesn't like watching some kind of reality TV while they're snacking on delicious food? <laughs> my choice tonight is keeping up with the Kardashians. How funny is Zeus in the corner? He just like waits for something to fall on the ground. He's like, hey, I'm starving. I'm never fed. Which is a total lie, by the way. Anyways, once we have finished, or almost finished in my case, I like to just chuck it back in that salad bowl, wrap it up and chuck it in the fridge for leftovers for tomorrow. And it tastes just as good the next day. Trust me, it's delicious. And then I head into the bathroom because taking off my makeup is like my favorite part of the day. I mean, I have so much fun putting on makeup, but when it's been on for hours, I'm just like, Ugh, get it off. So my first step is removing my hair extensions. I am using my Zala ones and I'm just popping them away. And then I am basically going to chuck my hair up out of my face so it doesn't get all wet and doesn't get product all through it. You know the deal. So of course the first step is to remove my makeup. I've been trying out this lately. It's a balm, like a waxy balm that you rub between your fingers and then you put it all over your dry face and then just kind of rinse it off with a little bit of water and a face cloth. So that's what I'm doing here. I like to do this before cleansing just because it gets majority of the crap off your face and then when you cleanse it can really like do its job properly. This is my favorite part about taking off my makeup. Taking off the false lashes, <laughs> such a good feeling. Make sure you really get under your lashes and get all that eyeliner off. I like to really, really, really massage it well. And then once you look like an oily mess, you just have to rinse it off, like I said. I know my face looks clean, but I promise you it's really not. The next step is to go in with a cleanser. I'm using this foaming cleanser with this little kit right here by Vanity Planet. So this is basically just a facial cleansing brush kit. So it has three little attachments. The one I like to use the most is attached already. It's a little silicone brush, which is perfect for me at the moment while I have breakouts. If you have acne or sensitive skin, it's perfect. And bacteria can't breed in the silicone bristles. So it's really, really hygienic as well and then it also comes with two other heads one of them is really good just for like a thorough daily cleaning and then the other one's really really good for exfoliating when I want like a really good scrub if my skin's all gunky and it's really easy to change the little heads you just pop them on and off like that and then click the button to turn it on I like to just kind of chuck my cleanser straight on the little brush and then just massage it on my wet face in circular motions and it just really cleans really nicely and deeply like much deeper than if you just use your hands and it also feels really soothing and quite gentle as well. If you are interested in the Ultimate Skin Spa set, feel free to use my discount code SHANIXO to get the entire kit for only $37.50. Also, I'm very thankful and really, really proud to say that Vanity Planet is going to donate $1 from every unit sold with the SHANIXO discount code on behalf of us to look good, feel better, which is a charity based here in New Zealand. It's a really, really good cause. I'll put more information down below. Moving right along, I am now doing a blackhead mask. I don't do the often at all but when I really 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 want to pamper my skin I like to chuck one on so I'm just putting that on my wet nose and then I'm taking a pore mask on the rest of my face and this one's really nice because it's really really gentle and it really helps to purify my skin Once that is all on, I'm just going to relax while that dries. So I head into my bedroom, shut the curtains. It's light outside still because it's daylight savings here in New Zealand, by the way. So it doesn't get dark till quite late. And then I just jump in bed and mess around on my phone for a bit, watch some TV, just relax, just catch up on life, you know. I also like to do a little bit of vlogging from bed. If you're not subscribed to my vlog channel, make sure you check it out. The link is down below. I do vlogs most days. Of course, I give my puppy some cuddles. Louis had a nice big mouthful of face masks just then. That was really pleasant. <laughs> and then I head back into the bathroom once all of my masks and everything are nice and dry. And I'm peeling off my pore mask. And obviously, if you guys are squeamish, don't look at the next couple of frames because I'm going to show you how much gunk it pulled out. It's pretty nasty. Nasty. <laughs> so this is what I pull out. 
I just like to do this once every now and again to get rid of any like deep gunk out of my face and then I'm just gently removing the rest of that other mask and then moving on to like my toner and moisturizer and everything. I think I've said in the past that I love toners that are in like a like squeezy squirty bottle. They're the best because then I don't have to get out like a cotton round. Anyway, then I'm getting out the rest of my stuff. So I'm starting with a trouble spot essence and I'm putting that around my trouble areas like on my forehead and where I've got blemishes on my chin and around my nose and stuff. And then I am moving on to my eye cream. This is my favorite one in the entire world. The Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. It's so, so good. It's really expensive, but it's so good. I love Love it. I also chuck on some lip balm because my lips get really really dry overnight and then I am using a little bit of Revita Brow and Revita Lash because this keeps my hairs on my face nice and long where I want them to be long not you know <laughs> so yeah I'm just putting that on my eyebrows and on my lashes it keeps them nice and strong and then I'm using some rosehip oil which my packaging is completely like ruined as you can see this is almost empty and I just chuck some of that on my face and neck because it's super moisturizing and it helps to get rid of any acne scars and things that I might get. And then we must not forget to brush our teeth. So this is the toothpaste I'm using and then this is my toothbrush. I love this toothbrush. It's like changed my entire like teeth brushing game ever since getting it. Electric toothbrushes are expensive but they're so worth it. They're so much better than normal toothbrushes. And I'm also going to brush my hair um, and put in a little bit of oil just because I like to put in oil sometimes at night. It helps to like condition my hair overnight. So this is the one I'm using at the moment. I love it. Now I'm finally done and as I said this is only like once in a while this is when I really want to pamper myself I don't do this every single night I just do it maybe like once or twice a week so then I head into bed give my baby a cuddle he's so cute look at him all curled up <laughs> and then to put it simply me and Hamish just hang out for the rest of the night we just catch up with each other have a chat watch some TV play with the dogs scroll on our phones watch some fail army just do all of those fun things that we like to do to wind down at the end of the night sometimes I'll read not very often Often because otherwise I never sleep because I get like caught up in reading um, I like to check my social media and like reply to people and favorite tweets and stuff like that the TV show we're watching at the moment is called Parks and Recreation it's so good this is my favorite character here he is hilarious I feel like he's kind of my spirit animal I also really really like Ron <laughs> so yeah we just like watch TV and just yeah as I said just relax and I thought I'd put in some cute clips of Louis sleeping because like he's so adorable I love my little bug. <laughs> He's an Italian greyhound, by the way, if you were wondering. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye. Hey everyone, so today's tutorial is on this makeup look that I'm wearing right now. So smoky and sultry. I feel like it's the perfect makeup look to wear whenever you want to feel sexy and confident. So basically it's just super smoky eyeliner, a little bit of pink glitter, super glowing skin, and pretty pink glossy lips.